Startups often fail. In fact, they fail more than they succeed. Because of this, the risks of investing in small and microcap stocks, which is what we focus on here at Pinnacle Digest, are abundant. In most instances, small and microcap stocks are in the early stages of development with conceptual products, prototypes, or projects that are unproven commercially and in many cases, the economics aren't even fully understood. In part because of that, most of these microcap companies operate with negative cash flow, which means they're probably reliant on equity raises to continue continue to fund their development plans. And that's dilutive to shareholders, which can erode the value of shares. Many of these companies' treasuries are like a leaky bucket that needs constant refilling. Microcap companies are, for all intents and purposes, startups. And the majority of startups come with a ton of risks and unknowns, including execution risk, which means will management deliver on development plans as forecasted? Do they have the expertise needed to turn their vision into reality? There are many great technologies that died in the warehouse and never hit the market because in hindsight, management made the wrong decisions. And then there are economic risks, meaning can the company's product or project even generate a profit if it were to be commercialized? How does it scale? When investing in microcaps, these details often can't be forecasted because they're unknown in the early stages, leaving investors to merely speculate. There are competitive risks as well, which oftentimes means these small companies are attempting to compete against much larger and much better funded organizations. And market trends can be fickle. What's hot today might be cold tomorrow. If a microcap is in a sector that falls out of favor, it can quickly run out of funds and face the risk of shutting down. I've seen it before. It's like surfing a wave that can vanish in an instant. Microcap and small cap stock prices are often extremely volatile. The value of these company securities may experience significant fluctuations due to many factors, some of which could include operating performance, the performance of the company relative to estimates, a disposition or acquisition by a large shareholder, a lawsuit, industry-wide factors, and as I said, general market trends play a role too. And there can be no assurance that an active trading market for these companies will ever be established or sustained, meaning you may not have have the liquidity you need to exit your position. So with the risks I've mentioned, and there are more, you might wonder why we even bother focusing on these small and micro cap ventures. And that's a fair question, as they're definitely not appropriate investments for most investors. But what has always attracted me is the potential reward. There's an expression in the micro cap world of junior resource investing, and it's that nothing pays like discovery. If you happen to place a bet on a venture while in their early stage of exploration or development, and they eventually prove capable of being highly profitable, or end up getting acquired by a larger player in their industry, or they achieve some sort of technological breakthrough, the payout potential for investors can be 10, 20, even 50 times their money. After all, many household name companies we know today were once startups. So micro caps are essentially calculated gambles, and any investor willing to place bets in this market has to be comfortable losing big. Every penny invested in these types of companies is at risk. It's the nature of the beast. Before you dive in, do your homework, stay informed, speak with a financial advisor, and never, ever, ever invest more than you can afford to lose.